on projects. What I mean by projects here is um, a small attempt with a few friends, colleagues and others to do something, to make something, to write a book, to study a problem. It's, in other words, it's teamwork and it's been very important in my life. I suppose I learnt the pleasure and profit of projects quite early in my life. Even with my school friends, we'd go off and do something, fishing or catching things or exploring together. And those were little mini projects for a day or two. And we were set projects at school to complete and going abroad for a, a tour with my best friend at the age of 17 was a project to follow Wordsworth's footsteps. And I did projects later, started academic projects with my mother, father, sister um, around the age of 23, 24 when I was um, completing my uh, doctorate in history. And we work together to reconstruct parts of the life of 16th, 17th century villagers through local records, sitting, snipping and gluing together. And it was very pleasurable and I got much more done and we shared it and it was a team effort. And that I think gave me a pattern so that later when I went to Cambridge um, in 1971, 1972 or three, I set up a project in King's College, Cambridge, uh, in the research centre, a project to study the history of an English village, uh, originally by hand and later using a computer. And so I got the budget of funding from them and later from the Social Science Research Council, a very long 10-year project to do something which no one had ever done before, which was to collect, read, transcribe, analyze, and document all the records of one English village. Sarah, my wife, was the project manager, so to speak, and we worked with a couple of computer scientists and another two or three people who were helping with transcribing and putting material in. And it was enormous fun uh, combining work closely, working with a team when it goes well is really rewarding. Each of you um, feels the strength and support and skills of the others. It must be something like rowing, though I've never done it, <coughs> where you actually feel the energies of all the other rowers pushing you on and you contribute to it or the pleasures of playing in an orchestra which I haven't done much where the same thing happens. So this kind of teamwork worked with the Nagas, with the Earl's Cone and then uh, after that finished we went on to another project to reconstruct as much as we could of the history of a tribal group, the Nagas, on the edge of the Burma Assam uh, border. And again, enormous fun, exploring new things, trying out new video, video disc, um, museum exhibitions, uh, uh, computer, um, new computer methods and so on. And that lasted for six or seven years. And there have been other ones since. Now, what is special, I've mentioned, is that human beings are very sociable and if they work together in a team uh, in any sphere of life it seems to be expanding of your own personality you fuse to a certain extent with others and where your weaknesses are their uh, strengths come in and it's particularly important in interdisciplinary projects like the ones I was doing where you required expertise you could never gain like computer sciences or uh, aspects of filmmaking. So my life has been a great joy because of the projects and particularly because all of them, uh, serious ones, have centred around the central 
partners, which is myself and Sarah. Sarah is a superb project worker. She incredibly is incredibly hard working, um, organized, um, got a, a encyclopedic memory of all the little bits of that are needed to be brought together in projects. And she did all the managing and a lot of the hard work while I was also teaching and administering. I couldn't have done these projects without her. And so projects brought us closer together. And we've had other smaller projects, just the two of us and one or two people from the cultures concerned in relation to Nepal and Japan and China, which are also projects. So the loneliness uh, and individualism of much of academic life, where as a historian or an anthropologist or whatever, um, a writer or literary critic, you are basically just doing the work on your own, sharing it a little bit with students perhaps, and mentioning it and giving talks to your colleagues, but no one really joining into it. That was overcome by this um, delight I learnt early on in co-working and making things, because out of each project came books or uh, exhibitions or some tangible output, because without that, then a lot of the purpose is lost.